Good afternoon and welcome to Bethany College. At this morning's chapel service, chapel service, uh, Pastor Noni Strand opened up the service by talking about all of the exciting things happening at Bethany College this week. To paraphrase Noni slightly, I'll echo that excitement by saying, it's a great day to be a Swede. I'd like to begin by recognizing and thanking three groups today. Number one, our search committee for all their work during this process. Number two, the entire Bethany College and Lindsborg community for their role in this process and their support of Bethany College and Swedes Athletics. Three, finally, I'd like to thank the, me the members of the media that are here today for this press conference. During their extensive evaluation of all of the candidates, both the search committee and each group that participated in, in the final interviews discovered three key qualities in our new head football coach. One, they found a teacher who truly sees the football field as an extension of the classroom. <laughs> Two, they found an innovative and out-of-the-box coach with a proven track record for turning programs around and generating support. Finally, they found a creative promoter who brings a big time feel and mentality to every level in which he's coached at. His positive attitude and his drive to succeed are contagious. And it's both my privilege and pleasure to introduce the new head football coach at Bethany College, Coach Manny Mitsakis. tell you what, he has been a pro through the whole process, uh, you know, just uh, he's done a lot of things. Honestly, uh, I really, I wouldn't even be here if it wasn't for some of the things Scott has done to uh, get me here uh, on campus, and, and uh, you have no idea. So I'm uh, very grateful about that. Um, also, I'll tell you, I am pumped up. I am so ready for this opportunity, and it really is. It's a tremendous opportunity uh, to be here in Lensburg uh, today. Now, uh, it took me a while to get out here, and uh, you know, the weather was uh, less than perfect, but I'll tell you what, when I got on campus, it just felt perfect, so that, that's, that's the best part of this. Um, I really uh, want to echo what Scott said, the members of the committee, uh, you know, uh, President Leonard and uh, Dr. Maker, uh, you know, just Everybody has been just so wonderful, and uh, just the personalities I've been able to meet here. You know, it, uh, my, my job here is to sort of bridge some of the traditions and, and the things that have happened here at Bethany College before, and uh, continue to build on that and make some really wonderful things happen uh, within the academic community here, within Lindsborg, and all our alumni that are spread out what I saw coast to coast so uh, we're, we're gonna have a lot of fun doing that and, uh, and I'll share some of that with you later if you so wish um, the other thing is uh, my family and I were really juiced about this I'll tell you there's just something about uh, coming back to Kansas for me personally uh, my first uh, coaching job in college was uh, just down the road in Manhattan and uh, was with coach Snyder twice and uh, you know most guys uh, can't live to say that, to be honest. I mean, you know, we, we work our tails off out there. We got the program started, uh, and, uh, and Bill has been uh, my mentor all along the way. So uh, I feel fortunate with that. Uh, also in the state, uh, my, my, I have two brothers here that work at KU. So we sort of we're able to bridge the two big schools together here. I do see a power cat right down there on one of these uh, <laughs> briefcases. So uh, that would be politically correct. Um, but I would say this, you know, with, with them there, and, um, and, and one of my best friends in the whole world is the athletic director at KU, Dr. Zanger, who's from uh, Hayes, grew up in Hayes. And uh, he was a, another reason that this job and opportunity at Bethany College just came up. It's like, wow, it's like, how can I not 
do anything but come here and uh, take advantage of this and work with these guys. Um, so that's sort of how I got here. Uh, we'll talk about anything you really want to know. Uh, I, I think once um, I, I accepted this job, I had a short list of guys that I wanted to work with me. And uh, a couple of them are here. One is actually on the road recruiting this week. And uh, we had to get him started ASAP. And because uh, that's the lifeblood of our program is, is recruiting and bringing in the kind of uh, young men that are going to be a great fit here. Um, I think uh, that's exciting. So I, I want to introduce uh, our assistant coaches uh, that are here currently. Uh, Jared Wirt, right here, he's our defensive coordinator. Uh, Jared, uh, she was a secondary coach at Carroll College uh, in Montana. Uh, what did you guys see? One. Two national championships as a player and four as a coach. Um, when I was looking at the uh, at this opportunity, uh, the first coach that I called uh, was Mike Van Deese, the head football coach up there, because we had crossed paths at the University of Wyoming. When I left Emporia State, he was at Wyoming coaching <coughs> linebackers, and he left there to go to uh, to, to Carroll College, and uh, and they've done a great job. They are they are basically. Uh, right now, what we aspire to become at this level, and that is to, uh, to be the best there is. And uh, when I talked to him, I said, do you have anybody that you would recommend as a defensive coordinator? And it, it took like, I mean, I didn't even finish the sentence, and he said, Jared. So that, I, the first guy called, and I got the job. First guy called, and uh, shoot, and the woman I uh, told him he had the job. He accepted immediately. It wasn't like, hey, coach, I got to go think about it. He knew, he knew how special this opportunity was going to be. Uh, next fellow is our defensive line coach, Michael Starkey. Um, Michael, you know, also last year uh, coached at Southern Oregon. Uh, they were a top five team in the country. Um, interesting note: he had worked at Delta State, a Division II school in uh, Mississippi, for a former assistant of mine, one of my defensive coordinators. Is the, was the head coach there, he worked for him, uh, did a little background check and said, hey, this guy's a go-getter, great recruiter, uh, you know, willing to do what we're about to do, and that's basically put in the 18-hour days, shoot for the next three or four months until we get to season, and then they become 20-hour days. <laughs> so it's just one of those, and they understand the, you know, the passion and the mission of, of what we're about to embark upon. Um, and, I, and I guess, uh, you know, the last thing I want to say is, um, and I, when I got here yesterday, I'd made a 15-hour trip west to Lawrence, stayed there with my brother, and then I uh, got up in the morning to a bit of the snow that hit way worse in Lawrence than here, so that, that was a plus. So I got through, and the uh, first guy that called me when I got in town was Coach Kessinger. So, I mean, you know, it was neat, it was, it was special, and uh, we have a great opportunity to build on what he had done before, okay? Mm -hmm. So, uh, that's Ted Kessinger, okay? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know that one, okay? I, I'm sure we're fixing to find out who, you know, what they're about later in September. Uh, I uh, would definitely answer uh, any questions from members of the media, and that would be great. Uh, and shoot, if you've got questions, you're just out there. Because I, I, one thing I'm really excited about is we've got faculty members here. Uh, shoot, we've got a president here. We've got, Ed, you know, I think the president knows what I'm about. But you, if you decide something you want to ask, fire away. Today, anybody in this room can be a member of the media. Because that, <laughs> if there's something quotable, I'm sure these guys are going to put it in the paper on the internet and so forth. So, uh, fire away. Coach, uh, you're going to run the triple shoot. Uh, I take it, and in layman's terms, could you just tell us what that is? Oh, shoot. It is a, it's an offense that, um, should I, it, it, it has morphed over time. Uh, I, I started out, uh, when I was at Kansas State, working for Coach Snyder, um, after I finished my master's degree there, I started work on my, my PhD. Uh, and, and why I did that was I was studying an offense that was, uh, really uh, at that time on the cutting edge and it was the run and shoot offense and uh, that I started studying it and uh, I actually had written my dissertation on the history and evolution of the run and shoot offense in American football so it, it's a long 
story, but I was able to, even back then, call down to Center City, Florida, talk to a guy named Tiger Ellison, who invented, the high, invented this offense in high school in Middletown, Ohio. And then from there, I started talking to another guy, Mouse Davis, who's now a good friend of mine. Uh, and, uh, she was, and then next thing you know, I start to like, this, this is it, you know. And I love what we were doing at K-State offensively, don't get me wrong. But I was just sort of geared up for the uh, hurry up, the fast tempo, the uh, option routes, uh, the ability for, to, to never huddle, which I haven't. Um, and, uh, you know, and, and then I just started learning more and more about it. I went to Hofstra University in Long Island, New York. Uh, where we're, we're pretty good. I mean, I had a kid named Wayne Corbett. Who, well, yeah, he's an all-pro from New York Jets that I recruited there, and two other linemen that ended up playing, uh, starting in the National Football League. All of them we got without a scholarship. They all just came in on financial aid. So they all three ended up playing the NFL. So that was a pretty neat deal. And we started out wide open. My first year ever doing it, um, we had run, uh, we led the nation in uh, Total offense, passing offense, and scoring. First time I was ever an offensive coordinator. And uh, we averaged 405 yards a game passing. Uh, so we could throw it around. And then um, I came back to K-State as a special teams coordinator and tight ends coach for Bill Snyder uh, after three years there. And what the offense in my mind, after taking a year to get back and see some things uh, with Coach Snyder, it made me think a little bit more about, you know, we were moving the ball up and down the field in this offense, but uh, a year later I became the head coach at Emporia State, and that's where this triple shoot really started to come together. And uh, I started figuring out as a head coach, it wasn't just about the statistics and everything, it was more about can I control the game with a good rushing attack. And uh, lo and behold, I recruited this uh, young man from Paola, Kansas, and, uh, <laughs> the rest of history, so that's sort of how we did that here. 